Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights, paint the sky.
tradition. The stadium might not be fashionable anymore, but it remains iconic, the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm directly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Milan up against Napoli. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. He cuts it back, and a tidy challenge. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And the striker today is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. An authoritative challenge. In with a chance. Couldn't make it 1-0. Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. And a glance at the Napoli side. David Ospina begins in goal. Piotr Zielinski plays with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today, Dries Mertens. Kessier. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Read it well. Ibrahimovic and offside all the way. Mertens. An encouraging move from Napoli. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Ongisa. Ball is loose. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. This is looking threatening. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Mertens... Excellent vision. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Will happily get the game restarted. Can they come up with an appropriate response? Kea. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Diaz. Well, as the stats confirm, Napoli have had the lion's share of the ball, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And unable to keep the ball. Onguisa. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And the whistle is sounded for... Underway once more, and there can be no sugarcoating it. A huge gulf between the sides in the first half, but we see a much-needed response from Napoli in the second. Insigne. Mertens! Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. 
difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Brahim. Kessie. Ibrahimovic. He knows a thing or two about constructing as he gets forward, and he has options. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Benassa. It's with Diaz. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic! Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. Into the advanced position. Chance to play it in. Zielinski. And now Politano. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. 30 minutes left for play. Breaking at pace. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Defence of Brazilians to shut them down. Ibrahimovic. Dries Mertens. What a pass that lacks quality. So a throw in here. Diaz, top class defending. Could be! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? Well, not the best clearance. Diaz. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. And a fine stop. Lorenzo Insigne. Possession one. Manny prevented it from going over the line. Good visualisation and execution. Ibrahimovic hasn't been picked up. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. He continues his run. Can he finish this? And how about that for a save? Now sending it in. And the problem not completely solved. Threat over for now, it seems. Can they hit on the break? And he's broken free. Big chance it is. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2 1. Lorenzo Insigne, crisp tackling. Mario Rui might be able to set up the chance. Zielinski but he can't keep that effort on target and a goal kick it'll be Ibrahimovic that is a wonderful challenge and they've kept the ball to boot so the referee blows the whistle and that will be that
Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Sends it back. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Theo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And a poor ball, and easy for the keeper. Diaz, determined block. Offside the decision. Brian Tristante. Oh, he's given the ball away. Ibrahimovic and a goal to really bolster things for them two in front well, a second goal for them here the referee correctly decided to play advantage and he was in the right place to intercept showing a real desire to win it back Ibrahimovic cutting the ball back and there it is three goals in front now an immense performance this is looking rather comfortable for them 3-0 Mkhitaryan not the pass he had in mind Benassa, Brahim, superbly read and executed. El Sharawi, Tammy Abraham, and that pass could be troublesome. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Brahim. Zlatan Ibrahimovic and intercepted it Vertu on to Abraham Milan doing well to win it back Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Sander Marcos has it Kessier Diaz A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form very few would lay a glove on them And tremendous individual skill Well this is threatening to get out of hand Just look at the scoreline And they just let his opponent glide by Is it going to be? So it is the first half store. Off and running in the second half then. Milan with the advantage. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Well, he's given us away.
Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Kessier has it. Brahim. It needs an accurate cross. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, I think it's fair to say he got underneath that just a little bit. Well, Derek, this has been a really good performance, as you can see. They've created numerous chances, they're winning the game comfortably, and they could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. And he read it superbly. Davide Calabria. Benassa. Brahim Diaz now. Diaz. Take it away. Kessier. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Vertu. Brian Tristante. Nicolo Zaniolo. Mkhitaryan. Is it going to be? Well, he gave it real leather, but miles off target. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Good technique displayed. Kessier. Oh, good looking run. Can they cover up? And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Diaz. Superb block. Well, pressing really high. Tammy Abraham. Giving the ball away. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And just wide. There really wasn't much in that at all. Nearing the end of the contest. And Milan are cruising, quite simply. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity. And their passing has been so expansive. Not oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. What a crucial intervention inside the box. Oh, is he going to be punished here? In it goes! And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing quite simply he hadn't done that. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. Ibrahimovic. Perfect challenge. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Oh, good vision. Oh, it's mischievous. A goal! And that will be all for this game. Defeat for...
Good evening to you. I must tell you, this is a city I always look forward to travelling to on football commentary business, Naples. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down... Insigne! And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Mancini. Here's Cristante. Oh, he's given us away. Moving it forward. No possibilities in the centre. Every pass hitting its target. Won it back. Onguisa. Zielinski. Mertens. Onguisa. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Pellegrini. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Just couldn't capitalise there. Giovanni Di Lorenzo Onguisa and now Zielinski Fabian and return to Fabian and a goal! Calls for celebrations again two in front so 2-0 now Rick Carr's door. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Well, as the stats confirm, Napoli have had the lion's share of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Tammy Abraham... Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Zielinski. Well, nicely cut out. Pellegrini. Just cutting off the supply. A genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick well truth be told his influence on this game has been very limited what have you made of his performance Stuart yeah I've been really disappointed with him today Derek he just hasn't looked himself but I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service has he Zielinski now let's see what they can do here Mertens Politano. Now Mertens. Alert defending. Abraham. Pressing as a team. Did well to win the ball back. Almost at half time. And they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. And away they go again. Joyous football from Napoli in the first half. What will the second 45 bring us? Kuribali on to Mario Rui. Lorenzo Insigne. On Guisa. An authoritative challenge. Really nice ball. And he might be through here. 
Not an especially. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. He's found a pocket of space. Teammate available. And a tidy tackle. Zielinski. And Fabian. On Visa. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And they deal with the threat this time. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Mario Rui. Anguissa. Fabian. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. He's given it away. Fabian and Napoli now in potentially a dangerous position and let's give credit to the defending racing forward trying to catch them out using all his defensive acumen to cut it out Zielinski and the timing was perfect ball one Brian Tristante nicely cut out Ongisa oh a perfectly timed pass not quite the accuracy he was looking for that'll be a goal kick Brian Tristante Nicolo Zaniolo possession changes hands the interception there and wasteful from Napoli just 10 minutes remaining here and he could run onto it here and pull back he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one well, Napoli have played well today, but they've also had great backing from the fans. Just listen to this noise. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. He takes aim. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Over it comes. Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, Derek...
venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Mertens, nicely blocked. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. 
Here's the team for Napoli. David Ospina begins in goal. Matteo Politano starts with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. And leading the line today, Dries Mertens. Oh, what's he gone and done? And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Delightful pass. Mertens. And the referee has given them a corner. And a harmless cross gobbled up. Kessier. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Not really the ideal clearance. And he's done it! Parate again! A magnificent game unfolding. So back underway following the equaliser. Cassier. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done. Keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it has come to nothing. An example of how to press. And take it away. Getting the ball forward. And let's give credit to the defending. Mario Rui. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Who can they pick out? And the header off target, but resolute defence. It is a decent looking at and in! Oh yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. And Napoli get the ball moving again. How will they react? Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Mario Rui. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, he might be expelled from the game. Playing with purpose and control. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Can they take advantage? He's just got to continue his run. Not trying the chip but he got the execution all wrong. Well, if he had the chance again, I think he'd choose another option. Not even close in the end. Smuggled away. And acres of space out wide for Milan. And Foxing the defender. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So into the second half, and we're going to find out whether or not Napoli can bounce back here. And now, passing it through. A really top-notch piece of defending. Zielinski. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will he play it in? And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end.
Mateo Hernandez. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. But it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully we see more of him in the second half. Good work to regain possession. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Takes the shot. And fired against the crossbar. He's blocked it. And as Milan get ready for their set-piece routine, a chance perhaps for them to increase the lead. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now can they counter clinically? Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Ibrahimovic. And he's beaten him here. Great opportunity. Well, body in the way. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Kessier. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Politano. Defensive efficiency personified. It might be on for them. Oh, big opportunity. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, as the stats confirm, Milan have controlled the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been... Well, the keeper is happy. The ball was there. Could be. And danger still. But not to be. It is offside. And the keeper dicing with danger. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. And continuing with the action and the fact of the matter is Milan are running away with this and he's in tries to lift it well 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 how many players would have the confidence to try that simply magnificent well if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed Amir Rahmani. It's with Onguisa. An alert intervention. Benassa. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Possession one. Politano. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Sliding in, winning the ball, and what's more, they've kept it. Now that's a well-timed pass. No, not the best challenge. Well, the pass getting in the way there. And that brings this contest to an end.
jack it up. here on the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson and we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division Serie A how do you see the match going Stuart well thanks Derek the best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your individual battles outrun your opponent eventually you'll get the space to show your ability I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today can he take the chance and what a magical save it was! Over it comes. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, they survived the attack. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And leading the attack today, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Oh, big chance here, Derek. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Could be threatening. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. He's given it straight to the opposition. Disappointing for Milan to give it away like that. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Vertu. This looks promising. Fluency of movement. Now what can they do from here? Pellegrini. Really good challenge. And plenty of room in the wide area. Delivering it into the box. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, a second goal for them here. Two. Here's Cristante. And he read it superbly. Now let's see what they can do here. 
Corner kick forthcoming. And the goal kick will be next. Pellegrini. Nice looking pass. And that was a very fine read. Well, as the stats confirm, Milan have controlled the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Might be dangerous. Perfect challenge. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Might really be able to trouble them here. Opportunity. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Karsdorp. Here's Cristante. Nicolo Zaniolo. Brian Cristante. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. Doughty defending to win the ball back. It's a promising Milan move. SEA. Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Pellegrini needs an accurate cross not quite the clearance they were hoping for Brian Tristante now do they mean business on this occasion Mancini Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. Twenty minutes to go. And smart defending. He's found a pocket of space. Tammy Abraham, lovely ball over the top. Well, it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well, it's a difficult skill, and on this occasion, he can't quite pull it off. Just didn't hit it cleanly enough. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Forward they go, chasing the game. Well, not quite there, but almost Milan. They want to make this a win, Stuart. Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. Well, great read there to intercept. It's 
Five minutes to go. Could be threatening. Kessier. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Underway again with the score at 3 1. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Excellent ball over the top. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. And that is going to be that. Well,
city I always look forward to travelling to on football commentary business, Naples. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Now he must favour the cross. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Monopoly starting 11. David Ospina begins in goal. Piotr Zielinski plays with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today, Dries Mertens. Well, if we're talking about potential match winners, we have to mention Dries Mertens. Stuart, what kind of display do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. And introducing the visitors' lineup today, Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Jordan Vertu starts with Brian Cristante in the centre of midfield. And operating through the middle in attack is Tammy Abraham. The potential danger here. Abraham. A really top notch piece of defending. Onguisa. Here's Insigne. Options in the centre. Fabian. Mertens. No potential danger. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And Napoli now in potentially a dangerous position. Corner kick played in, and a no-nonsense clearance. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. He goes short. Oh, that's a really good run. Body on the line. An alert piece of defending. Pellegrini. Beautifully disguised ball. It could be up for grabs. Top class defending. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. And a throw in forthcoming. Pellegrini. Now with Abraham. This looks more than decent. Still a chance. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Zielinski. Here's Insigne. And options in the centre. A very effective clearance. Well, it's Napoli's turn now. Mertens. Has a go. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Politano. And Gisa. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. And with that, the first half drops. Well, it's advantage Napoli after the first 45, but a long way from being decided here. In behind for him to chase. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Body 
plays forward and the break looks on. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, he caught the eye in the first 45, didn't he, Fabian? How would you critique his performance? Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. They've drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. Mancini. Abraham. Well, can they make one of these passes count? And he's in. And a goal. Superb entertainment. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Better two. Spinazzola. Better two. Must score. Oh, it strikes the bar. But the decision is offside here. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Now with Mertens. Mertens. Good technique displayed. Superb block. Mertens. Real chance. Now defenders having to cover up. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. And space to attack. Just cutting off the supply. Pellegrini. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Politano. Ogisa. And it's in! The back in front! Stunning scenes here! Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Throw-ins given. On Guisa. And taken forward by Martins. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now, potential danger. Abraham. Crucial interception amid impending danger. And the pass could do damage. Well, now in a dangerous position. And still an opportunity. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper in. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Zielinski. And strongly to win the ball. This looks promising out wide. And players waiting in the centre. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Insigne. Mertens. Chance maybe. And problem solved for now. And that will be all for this game. Defeat.
it's a city where football is a big part of the local culture. Welcome to the Mestalla here in Valencia. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Valencia up against Real Sus. Chance to finish! There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. And the action underway again. The onus is on Valencia to find a response now. Regain possession. Oyar Sabal. I'm showing good defensive judgment. Soler. Maximiliano Gomez. Valencia struggling to keep the ball. Gomez. On to Gedge. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Who can he pick out? Well, fantastic reflex action. David Silva. Mikel Marino. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Daniel Vass. Promising move from Valencia. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Gomez, Elder Costa, he's blocked it! So Valencia trailing and looking for inspiration from this corner. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Elder Costa. Fair play, he took on the shot, but he's not going to be happy with how it ended. Well, Real Sociedad haven't been able to dominate possession, as those stats tell us. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Attacking possibilities here for Valencia. Rosano Gerdes. He can't hold on to it. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. They do pass the ball with authority. And a textbook interception. you've got to conclude that was good refereeing a free kick in the end after initially playing advantage but it just wasn't there really a very poor ball chance to attack using wit oh brilliant goalkeeping crisp tackling well not a cross that will live long in the memory goal kick Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Gomez. Useful looking ball. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves... A 
as anticipated. Plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Sabel. It's with Mikel Marino. Isaac. David Silva. Able to skip past his man. Oh, what's he gone and done? Able to get a body in the way. They've got it now. What can they do? I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half scoring that late goal but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on well that's how to beat your opponents but fair play that goes down as a very good recovery could be a chance to break here well that break looked so promising but nothing coming from it a sloppy pass Elder Costa. Maximiliano Gomez. He's blocked it. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Elder Costa. Maximiliano Gomez. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Gaia. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Soler. Pass! Terrific save. He took care of it defensively. Well, it was a close call, but the fans are not happy with that decision. He has time to play it over. Pulkie. And unable to hang on to the ball. That's good pressing for you. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Fulquier. Losing possession here. Gonzalo Kedge. Gomez. Could be dangerous. Cuts it back. And an astute piece of defending. Isaac. Silva. An important interception. good vision and just too much height on the shot and as a defender you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then well the electronic board showing one additional minute Gomez Maximiliano Gomez! And a textbook interception. And that is the end of the contest, and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, Derek, there was...
is a big part of the local culture. Welcome to the Mestalla here in Valencia. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Valencia, and they take on Sevilla. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Gomez! Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. And over comes the corner. And the danger's still on. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. The Sevilla side as follows. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Ivan Rakitic plays alongside Fernando in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Vas! Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. A really sumptuous ball. And diving to thwart it. Going short. And a good looking ball. Well read to win possession back. He's found a pocket of space. Played towards the back post. Not away completely. And I think the threat has been averted. Possession one. And will it be the leveller? And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Fernando and scope for them to produce something exciting and credit is due for that good piece of defending an incisive pass and he's in the clear the net is steering him in the face oh crucial tackle brilliant Daniel Vass Disappointing for Valencia to give it away in that fashion. Gomez now delivering that deep cross. Not all that convincing defensively. Rakitic. Oh, tremendous block. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Who can he pick out? Well, it's off target. They were watching him like a hawk. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This looks more than decent. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Gaia. Pass. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. So the ball is rolling again. Two won the score. What's going to happen next? Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. A chance then for the respective...
Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Soler. Valencia showing good width, but nothing comes of it. Rafa Mir. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after run without too much success. But eventually he got his reward. And what an important goal it was. And he read it well, intercepting it. And they need to get tighter here. Oh, not a great touch. And they've lost possession. Couldn't hang on to the ball. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Johan Jordan. Gomez. Credit to them for winning back possession. Gomez. Johan Jordan. Really good challenge. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Gonzalo Getsch. Oh, they've lost it. Rafa Mir. Applying vigorous pressure. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. This attack looks highly promising. And players waiting in the centre. Gonzalo Gerdish. Defensive efficiency personified. And we saw the situation developing. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Daniel Vaz. Promising move from Valencia. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Rakitic. In the closing moments of the game, and Sevilla in search of what would be a winner. Can they hit on the break? Oh, in with a chance! And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Gonzalo Gedge. A wonderful intervention. Unable to keep the ball. Soler. And the referee blows his whistle for full time.
And welcome, it's always a delight to be here at the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. 
It's Real Sociedad taking on Sevilla. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Adnan Yanuzai. So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Adnan Yanuzai plays with Oya Sabal in the wide areas. And the attack is led today by Alexander Izak. The Sevilla side as follows. Yasin Bounou is the goalkeeper. Ivan Rakitic plays alongside Fernando in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. A really intense pressure applied. Mikel Marino. Well read to win possession back. Fernando. Ivan Rakitic. Here's Mia. And unable to keep the ball. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Campos, and he's made headway. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Rakitic. Gomez. And he takes on the shot. Chance maybe. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Silva. Isaac. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. What can they do from here? Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Pressing high to win the ball. Lucas Ocampos. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Tremendous block. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Has a go. Those stats tell you everything. Sevilla have controlled the majority of possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And a tidy challenge. Isaac. Oh, a lovely ball. High quality defending. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Not confident in possession that time, David Silva. Gomez. And crossing towards the far post. Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Well-timed tackle. Far from a good pass. Marcos Acuna. And possession given away. Seemed to switch off for a moment. And now a throw-in. 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. Isaac might be able to set up the chance. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Rafa Mir. And it's a quality pass. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Will this corner bear fruit just far too close to the goalkeeper? Making high pressing work for them here. Timely intervention. This might be ideal for the counter. And that puts them in position. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. He succeeds in clearing it. Will he finish? And still danger here. And I think the threat has been averted. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough, was it? What a game we've had so far. Goals at both ends, some near misses as well, and some good individual displays. You can't take your eyes off of this. And a textbook interception. Papu Gomez. Tremendous ball played through. Foiling his opponent completely. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. He made it look simple, really. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. But quick thinking defensively. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Lucas Ocampos. Giving the ball away. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Campos Silva there will be one minute added on at the end and so the referee brings the 90 minutes
jack it up. here at the Estadio Mestalla. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Valencia up against Real Sociedad. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Adnan Yanuzai plays with Oya Sabal in the wide areas. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. Oh, what a chance this is, Derek. Full credit, wonderful stop. And they're going for the short one. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge.
Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Excellent challenge. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Couldn't keep it. Gonzalo Getsch. Promising attack, this. And it's played into the centre. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Oh, splendid skill. Mikel Marino. Good work from Valencia to win back possession. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Moving forward effectively. Has someone to play it to. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest. 1-0 then. Diego Rico. Well, no surprise there. Real Sociedad have had more of the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Very quick thinking there. Maximiliano Gomez. Attacking possibilities here for Valencia. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Gonzalo Gerdish. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Gomez. And now Carlos Soler. Gonzalo Gedge. Cleared away comprehensively. Intense pressure. Gomez. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. He's played it short here. Timely intervention. Well, the managers will now deliver the... And so, underway again with Valencia looking to build on what was a largely positive first-half performance. Isaac. On the offensive. Aldo Costa. And they need to get tighter here. And he takes it on. Gets! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. It might be. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Elder Costa. Now Gabriel. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Gaia. This is looking threatening. Good bit of pressing. Gomez. It's with Fulquie. Oh, good looking run. A danger averted thanks to his teammate. 
He did have a lot to say for himself in the first half, Maximiliano Gomez. What did you make of his contribution? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Oh, Stewart's a chance! Can they slot it home? And in at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper badly at fault. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Elder Costa. Daniel Vaz. Plenty of options. Opportunity to take the lead. And getting across to stop it. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And there's the delivery. And a time for calm on the ball. Rosano Geddes must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. David Silva. Well, nicely cut out. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And a fine tackle. Might be a chance here. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Gonzalo Gedge. And now passing it through. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Isaac. On to Silva. Goro Sabo. Silva. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Maximiliano Gomez. Pass. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes.
we've traveled to the east coast of the Iberian Peninsula. We're in Valencia at the Estadio Mestalla. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Valencia taking on Sevilla. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Chance to cross. For Sevilla starting 11. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Ivan Rakitic plays alongside Fernando in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Rafa Mir. Here's Fernando. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Oh, great attacking play. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Can someone get on the end of this? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And problem solved for now. Gonzalo Getsch. And it's with Elder Costa. Not high quality defending. And no luck keeping possession. Ivan Rakitic. Fernando Rafa Mir now with Rakitic real chance he's lost it Gomez oh that's a pass of high quality and it's in 1-0 they've reached the defence 1-0 then Johan Jordan. Delightful pass. Lucas Ocampos. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Ocampos. They could not in front. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing, magnificent goal. So the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Valencia following that concession? There needs to be. Maximiliano Gomez. Oh, fancy football. level again here both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle moving the ball nicely looking for that final pass Rakitic and you don't want to lose possession there oh could be now the managers will now deliver their heart So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And do they mean business on this occasion? And a good take under duress there. Can they hit on the break? Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. 
And now can he keep calm? With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Can they stop it going in? Well, they can keep possession now. Really terrific from Gonzalo Gedge in the first half. What did you think of his contribution? Well, he was excellent in that first half. He almost ran the game at times with his passing ability. Unless he's marked better in the second period, he'll continue to dictate the flow of this match. Getting in there to intercept. Oh, super piece of play. Must take the lead here. Still alive. Danger averted for now. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been pop. Real chance. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. And a goal in the lead again. Fully deserved. 3-2 it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. This attack looks highly promising. Pulls it back. And the timing was perfect. Ball won. Now the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Gonzalo Montiel. Here's Mia. They've given it away. Soler. And he takes on the shot. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. They're trying to get right into his face. And good pressure high up the pitch. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Well, we're in the dying moments of the game now and Valencia still narrowly behind in this one, Stuart. Well, what a game we've had here. Good goals, some swappy defending and some great individual performances. But they need to find a moment of magic here to get back into this. I certainly won't be surprised if they do get the equaliser. Pressing high to win the ball. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, threat averted. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans do it every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser. Fruitful looking attack. It's looking promising. What late excitement. And the match is level. And they've restarted the game. And it's three apiece. an important intervention good use of advantage by the referee and the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute how oh, can they nudge in front late on here real chance great defending ball is loose and the referee blows the whistle still
And hello from the northwestern part of Spain. We're in San Sebastian at the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Real Sociedad taking on Sevilla. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Adnan Yanuzai plays with Oya Derek, Sabal. Big moment, this. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. And back underway. 1-0 it is. It's it. Here's Jordan. Can he take advantage? Brilliantly blocked. Isaac. Retaining possession proving difficult. Rakitic. Fernando Gomez and not a great challenge free kick here Marcos Acuna this could be the equaliser reading it well good work to win the ball back high up the pitch very quick thinking there fruitful looking attack can he do it? And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser! So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Mikel Marino. Rafa Mir. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, he gave it real leather, but miles off target. And does well to keep it in play. And he read it well defensively. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And a goal, almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Rakitic. Excellent defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, they seem to... They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Short and along the ground. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball. And, pro and a chance to level it. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Diego Carlos. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And it's with Isaac. And it might be. And still an opportunity. So, the whistle then. We're up the half.
The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Goro Sabel. Now with Silva. Isaac. Now oh, that's a well timed pass. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Ivan Rakitic. He's found a pocket of space. Oh, my goodness! What an outrageous hit! I can't believe he took it on from there, and neither can the goalkeeper. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Silva won it back well there it is Sevilla have controlled the ball and as a result have dominated the game some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that oh surely well goal kick just as it was looking promising well we have 30 minutes to go Nicely cut out. Space afforded him. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Rakitic Marcos Acuna well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them well just listen to this reaction they're affording their opponents far too much time on the ball they have to press higher up the pitch and the danger is averted Johan Jordan Continues his run. And let's give credit to the defending. Disappointing pass. But attacking possibilities. Fifteen minutes left for play. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. They need to get tighter here. That's a useful cross. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Marino. A disappointing end to the move. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Wonderful chance. Off the post and back in play. Marcos Acuna. A really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw-in. the perfect position to read it the referee knew that was foul play but advance and that is that the referee blows his whistle for
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Slavia Prague versus Victoria Pilsen. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Sikora. Kalva. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Radim Rzeznik. A wonderful intervention. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And take it away. It is a decent looking attack here. Deciding to go inside. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. A potential danger here. He brings it down, but work to do. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Who can they pick out? Well, he was being closely watched. Goal kick. Well, the defender knew he couldn't get to the ball first, but he just did enough to put him off there. Sikora. Lost possession. And good pressure high up the pitch. This looks promising. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? They take it short. And the cross goes in. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Mosquera. Lukas Kalbach. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Able to get his body in the way. A really intense pressure applied. Well, they couldn't keep it. Well, the hosts have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Will he finish? He's blocked it. Well, he took care of it defensively. Might be able to set up the chance. The possession lost, intercepted. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Given away again. The first half here comes to... Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Nikolai Stanchiu. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And does well to keep it in play. 
and taking it away this might have potential pulls it back can they forge ahead great defending here oh wonderful save well he reacts so quickly there that's a great save but he's gone short with it Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Must be! Oh, he saved it well. Jan Sikora. Lukas Kalbach. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, I must admit, Stuart, for a fleeting moment, I thought that was going in. Well, it was only inches away, but it's still a brilliant strike. The high press was very much on. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Fine teamwork to win it back. Oh, he's really opened them up here. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And played short. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. And the short option preferred. And the cross goes in. Thumps clear. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, I have to say, these fans are doing everything to drive their team forward here. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Possession one. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Teammate in support. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then get their front players attacking the ball. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Vital interception, the danger was very real. Outdoing his opponent. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammates. And so into the final five minutes. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. This could level it. Oh, the goal! They've come up with a late leveller. Really doing this the hard way. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90s. Always hesitating, kryptonite desires set my heart afire.